Hi guys! This week we are working on persuasion. So the essential question is how do authors use ethos, logos, and pathos to persuade their audiences? So during this two-week unit um, you guys are going to learn what makes an effective speech, um, how to write an effective speech, how to formulate an argument, how to write using those three appeals of ethos, logos, and pathos. And then at the end, we're going to present it. Um, well, first you guys are going to analyze a speech. That's this week. And then next week, you guys are going to write your own. So to brainstorm, with the presidential um, um, election coming up in November, you probably have seen a lot of speeches of presidential candidates, of people backing those candidates, and... Um, Probably heard a lot of speeches on the news, seen a lot of speeches. So think back to when you heard someone give a speech, maybe on TV, maybe it was a political candidate, or maybe me every day, um, or a school assembly, or an event maybe that you went to that you saw someone give a speech. Why did they make the speech? What was their purpose? Um, so I can, the last speech maybe I saw was at the um, on TV, I saw a presidential candidate giving a speech, and their purpose was to persuade me to vote for them. Um, and so speeches have a purpose to convince someone to do something to persuade the audience. This is called persuasion. So persuasion is different than argument. Argument is based on um, fact and evidence. Persuasion is based on different appeals. So for example, um, there's three different appeals for rhetoric, and this video explains them a lot better than I could. So logos is um, kind of facts, logic, reason, or proof. Um, normally, you use all three of these in a persuasive argument, so it's not necessarily the main point as it would have been in an argumentative piece. An argumentative piece is about the evidence and the facts and the studies and the statistics. And it doesn't have a lot of emotion or trust. And so pathos is emotion. You can use stories, inspirational quotes, vivid language, vivid language, or ethos is credibility and trust. Um, so that's more about like branding, citing credible resources, and then confidence. So if you're a very eloquent speaker, you're more of a persuasive speaker. So you guys are going to watch this video. Then research a speech. I'm going to give you a choice. You can research a speech of your choice. Like there's a list over here. If you click on this link, there's a lot of different um, different speeches on here. The first one says Theodore Roosevelt, Duties of American Citizenship. Uh, I think there's 13 maybe that you could choose from. Or you could analyze the one that we have on the next slide. Um, so here's the text version. It is Pearl Harbor Address to the Nation. This is after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Um, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt um, gave a speech to the country inspiring us to join World War II. So backstory, U.S was not involved in World War II until the bombing of Pearl Harbor, where Japanese troops bombed a naval base in Hawaii. This act sparked the U.S. to join the war. Franklin Delano, Delano Roosevelt gave his speech to persuade citizens to support the involvement in the war. So there's a video version and a text version. After you watch this, um, you're going to answer these questions. Who is the author? What was the purpose of the speech? What strategies did they use to captivate their audience? Um, was it effective? Did it work? And what tactics can you steal for your own writing and your own speech creation? So that's it for the first week. Next week, we're going to dive into writing our own speeches. So this week, we're going to see what makes an effective speech.